guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork Crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. Y'all, I'm late. I'm so sorry. But it is time for me to go ahead and review and get my first impressions out of the new Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe Palette. Just in time for spooky season. I know I'm a little late. Um, it's the end of spooky season, but it's fall. It's all spooky season. Um, so I'm gonna get into this palette, guys, and I'm gonna show you how I got this look. Like, right? Perfect. Nice vampy fall glam. Uh, listen, this is my Raven look. Not like Raven from Teen Titan. The, listen, the Raven, because this is giving me very much Edgar Allan Poe, and I love him. So. Guys, if you're ready to see this beautiful palette, and let me tell you, the packaging, you guys, y'all not even ready. So if you're ready to see this palette and how I get this look, keep on watching. All right, guys, I'm just ready to get started. As you can see, hair's already back. Primed. You see them lids? Primed. Okay? And of course, the brows are done. If you don't know how to do your brows by now, I don't know what to tell you. That video's been up. Has it been a year yet? I don't know, but it's been up a while. So go check it out. Get the brows right. Stop embarrassing me. There's that. So as I said, I am, I want to say a little late, but I'm really late, guys. A lot's been going on. I've had, guys, a lot's been going on. And when I got this, I was literally preparing to leave for vegas so uh, y'all i just wanted i'm ready and i'm sorry that it's late i've had it for a while just sitting here but i i did see that the pre-orders were not in yet for those like it just cleared customs or something so maybe i'm not as late as i thought i was always on time i, I guess but here's a new nomad cosmetics palette right on time for spooky season i just love that their mailers always like coincide with the palette and the, i love it so um let's just open I almost broke everything. Um, I don't exactly know what it looks like. I've seen a couple colors, I've seen a palette, I've seen only a few looks. Look, I'm not even gonna try to um, embarrass myself and try to tear this little, I can't do it. Because I can't open my own mailers and um, there's that. Guys, if you haven't seen already, um, I hope you are. I hope your notifications are set to all. That way you're notified every single time I upload and every single time I post on my community tab because some of you are not following me Instagram still and I don't get it. But my beauty sponges are out. My diamond beauty sponges, they were actually in my How I Clean My Brushes video. So make sure you check it out. I have four colors. They are beautiful. They're soft. They, the Listen, the angles help you get the perfect contour. So check them out right here on rdbeauty.com. Link is always in my description box, but um, time for the palette, sorry. Ooh, ooh. Um, I know I get a card. I always get my card. So this is Haunted Europe. Ooh, remember when I said I felt like it was like a Transylvania thing? Yeah, um, Europe is definitely, aww. This is so cute. I'm sorry, I always get a card and this is, this is the final PR for 2021. So this is the, aww, I'm so, aww. Guys, if you don't know, they are amazing and I just love them. They are. So here we go, we got the little sticker, where will you go next? And right after we look at the palette, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started. Um, sorry that I have this background up for so long. Just, guys, get off my, oh, it's a big one. Okay, so, oh. look, their palettes are well protected, okay? First of all, gorgeous, okay? Very much giving me Transylvania, Dracula, Bram Stoker's, Dra Bram Stoker's Dracula, Jesus, I can't even say that, is, the best, not the movie, mm -mm. but I can't even open this. Not the movie, the book, oh, it's so good. Like if you really read it, do you guys read? I read, I wanna start a book club. That's how much I read, I love it. Um, But, oh, I'm ready. It says the destination is a medieval Europe. Haunted castles and eerie forests. Dark fairy tales is the inspiration. Why did I read like that? Because I didn't know what it was supposed to be. That's why. Um, oh! Oh! Can you guys see that? I'm gonna try to get a video of it because, oh my god. No, this palette is gorgeous. It's giving me very much Edgar Allan Poe, who is my favorite. 
Oh, I love him. I do. My favorite poet, face off. Like, oh, I love Ed Brown. If you don't listen, it's so bad that we went to see um the Broadway play, the musical. What was it called? Why can't I get it? Shit, I'll remember it. But my friend took me that there for my birthday. It was like amazing. Sorry, it's I'm in love. Nice big mirror as always. Let me peel the sticker off because last video I did not peel up the sticker. Yeah, I'm just having a day. Like I've been working. I literally jumped out of a plane in Vegas and landed back in New York on some bullshit. But oh, oh my God. First of all, gorgeous. And I'm gonna have to put a picture up for you guys. You guys already know, but like, this is, is this gonna be my favorite palette for Nomad Cosmetics? Because, oh my God, the names, the impressions, everything is so beautiful. I think I, I really, I wanna try this catacombs. Jade. It's, all right, cause I'm really excited and it's so beautiful. I wanna go something more darker because uh, spooky season. So, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're just gonna jump right into this palette. It's already gorgeous. I love the form. I, let's do this. I'm so excited. Let's just, all right. Okay, so I am feeling like I wanna do a dark look. Spooky season. And I remember the musical is called Nevermore. That was about Edgar Allan Poe's life. I love this so much. He's literally one of my favorite writers of all time. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, and this is kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, specifically the raven um and i really want it's so pretty all right it's gonna be on the screen but y'all it is really really beautiful i love their formula and i love the formula of their shimmer so i don't know i really don't know what i want to lean towards but i want something dark so i think i'm gonna go into brand castle it's like a deep periwinkle i guess that's what you can call it it's not lavender it's really deep but i'm gonna go in with my large fluffy blending brush and i'm gonna we're gonna try this as my transition that's what we're gonna do um going lightly to these shadows remember they are a softer formula um the pigment <laughs> oh okay i wasn't i thought it was gonna be a little softer but um it's here and let me just get a little bit more for right here. I was not prepared. Okay, but this is kind of what I'm going for. I want something dark. You guys know I like to do like a, a pre-Halloween look that's like very, I don't know what to call it. Don't stop paying attention to me guys, I'm a mess. But um, last year I did my a vampy fall glam. I want this to be dark as well. Check that out. Um, still trying to figure out what's gonna happen for Halloween. Ooh, I don't know yet. Like I have something in mind. I really like this. It really blended out beautifully. It's like a gray, but with, it's like purple, but it's, guys, I like it. <laughs> it's really nice. It's, it's, it's pretty much what I wanted. Um, but yeah, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for Halloween yet. I'm actually, when I'm filming this, you guys are not even gonna see it. So I'm doing a little bit of pre-filming. I'm trying to get some things out the way so that I can get a Halloween look together. Um, it's not something that's easy. I have something in mind, but it's gonna take a lot of work. And it's probably going to be um, some special effects things going on there. So that would be an interesting video um, as soon as I can figure out how I wanna do it and how I'm gonna do it. But that would probably be just for the sake of my upload schedule, it'll probably be an extra upload before Halloween, just to give anybody a little ideas of what you guys wanna do, last minute looks. Um, you know, you know. But yes, I really like this. I did not expect it to be, like, I didn't expect to like it. It's like very like ash and gray. Like this is definitely a Halloween palette. Like if you wanted to do like a vampy look, I really, really, think that you need this palette. It'd be very easy. Not like a like a red vampy look, but like a sticky, I, I don't know what I'm saying. But like, I think this would give you a really nice dark vampy look. I really do. And they have beautiful shimmers. I love their formula. So I did do this for my Toucan look as well as my Phoenix look. That was only on Instagram though. You do see it in my cleaning my lashes video just in the beginning, um, but 
yeah i'm just gonna bring it down to like my tear duct using my morphe e36 i'm going to this black four shade which is really like a navy blue and i'm going to hit the outer corner and it the crease so it's really deepening that up and i really like it i think i'm either gonna use like oh, there's so many colors i think i'm gonna use big bad wolf on the actual lid I kind of want to round this out. I don't want it. Um, I don't want to wing it out. But I'm really building it up. I low-key wanted a pop of color, but I don't think so. Because I just because I used green in my last look, in their last palette, I also did like a green look. But this blue is beautiful. I can see it is coming through. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the outer corner in the crease. I'm gonna finish up this eye and add um, one of these shimmers on the lid. Um, I don't really know yet, but I don't think I'm gonna be using too many shades for this. All right, so my camera is on some shit again. I don't, I just feel like when I have bad, like shitty days, my camera's like, you know what? Let's make it worse. Like when a door handle grabs your belt loop, like that. But um, for the lid, I actually ended up using two uh, shimmers. I used Krampus first, it'll be up on the screen, but I didn't really, it wasn't as, I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. So I actually went over that with Bloody Mary and I'm just gonna show you guys that now. Because the inner corner is very, very thin, I'm going in with my tiny flat brush and I'm just gonna go into that Krampus shade just because it's what I did and I want the colors to be the same. As you can see, it. well, you can't see it yet, but you're gonna see that it's a little, darker than I expected. I do think um, the next time I use these shimmers, I will go in with a glitter primer first. I just didn't, I want to I want to show you guys my real first impressions and how they perform. Um, some shimmers don't need a primer at all, like at all, at all, but I think this one definitely does and I think Bloody Mary might as well. Um, well, to be honest, Bloody Mary might not because I am mixing it with this darker one this Krampus shade, so I don't know. So I just wanted it to be a little bit bright. So for the rest of it, I'm going into my larger brush. This is my 234, my smoky shader on the floor. For real this time, here's my 234, my smoky shader brush. And I'm just gonna go back into that Krampus shade and I'm just gonna pack that on the lid just for coverage. But I am gonna go over top that with Bloody Mary. I hope my camera is still running. So because I'm going over it, I don't need it to be perfect, but I just want, just so that they'll they'll be the same. That's really what this is. Go back to my smaller brush, into that Bloody Mary shade, I'm just going to do the same thing. And you're gonna see how we got this shade over here, which is kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it too bright, but it was just a little too dark for me. And I think the two of them make a really, really nice shade. Back into my larger brush. And that's what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna build that up. I think it's very, very pretty. I think on its own, it, it, it is probably stunning because I really love the formula of the shimmers. I don't usually go in with a glitter primer for them, but I think the darker shade, that Krampus might need it, just so it'll pop. Let's just pack a little bit over here too. Why not? For shits and giggles. But I think it's so pretty. I like how the eye is coming out. And I, it's doing what I want it to do. This is what, I wanted a dark eye, but I didn't know I was gonna go all raven on you guys, but I did. So back into my E36, I'm going into Black Forest, that is that navy blue shade, and I'm just going to blend out the outer corner and the crease, clean it up a little bit, blend it together. And that's pretty much it for the eye so far. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the look off camera. I'm gonna add some black liner, which is going to further accentuate the inner corner and make it all cute and stuff. Um, I'm gonna probably use, I'm, I'm lying to you guys, I'm definitely using Black Forest on the lower lash line. I just have on some black eyeliner. It's my Aqua XL um, and my waterline. And I think I'm going to use the Catacombs, which is this silver or Big Bad Wolf. I'm not sure yet as an inner corner highlight, but that is it so far. I'm gonna go clean up the face. I think it's, the hardest part is cutting the crease. I swear it is. But I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the look, come back and show you the final product, the final look. 
All right, I'm going. Just kidding. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I really love how it came out. I did go ahead off camera and just exaggerate the inner corner with my black liner. As you guys can see, it did a little wing. You can't really see it, but it it works, I promise. So I actually used to do that a lot when I worked at Hot Topic. I just exaggerate the liner and only have wing liner on and just have a little silver underneath. It's, it's just really cute. It, so I've been doing for years, y'all. Um, the highlight, of course, is my Nomad Cosmetics Hot Shot. It's just so pretty. And definitely, I felt like it went with the lid shade. So I had to bring this baby out. But it is one of my favorites. And I use it a lot. I use it a lot. It's definitely Shayna's favorite. If you don't know Shayna Music on Instagram, you go ahead and check her out. Even on YouTube, check out her videos. I definitely use this highlight in the last video. They call it Lazy. So look, check her out. Check out my behind the scenes vlogs. You'll see me using this. this it's amazing. Now, I really feel like the lift really tied it in and the context, I'm not gonna lie, brought in this vampy, dark glam look. So the contacts are in HD Blue by ETDI. So you can go ahead and check them out. There's a discount code in the description box if you wanna use it. Um, but for the lips, I use a black lip liner. Um, this is just a two to a dollar lip liner from the drugstore. And my ColourPop's Lippy Sticks in NYX. Um, I really like it. It is a deep maroon shade but it has more purple undertones than red so that's why i felt like it really worked for this look make sure y'all check it out um but yeah and the lashes aren't bratty because i have to give that bird's eye the really flared out ends it y'all i really like this look and it just made me happy because my day was kind of shit my camera keeps cutting off so this helps and i'm trying to just get through this <laughs> so uh i can start editing but if you guys could not tell i love this palette it's so first of all this uh the packaging is gorgeous i really love this so much i hope you guys can see it on camera and i'm not just being a weirdo i do really like ooh, oh my god i almost dropped the whole thing okay i do love the color story like you can get a lot of nice everyday looks out of this because there are these great mattes this i want to get into so bad it's so beautiful and you can get a dark look this middle row right here you can get a nice green glam look literally gorgeous there's so many different options for spooky season or like every day if you're spooky every day that's that's your business um but this is a gorgeous palette you guys already know this is giving me this is called house the castle it's really giving me istanbul vibes but it looks like it's a little more deeper whereas istanbul was more yellow so i just can't wait to get into this palette thank you guys again so much for sending it to me it is beautiful. Ah, it might be one of my favorites. Just for the packaging alone, I'm telling you guys, I'm I love Edgar Allan Poe, and that's exactly what it's giving me, which is probably why we ended up with this raven eye. Like, it is what it is. If you want to check out my lashes and my brand new diamond beauty sponges, make sure you go ahead and check out rdbeauty.com. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, guys. I can't trust this enough. You guys are not following me on Instagram, and some of you are watching. And you guys just refuse to subscribe. So right now, I need you to do this for me. Hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. The notification bell better be set to all, okay? Because I have lots of announcements on my community tab. I will be using it a lot more. So please, 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 please check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.